Hi everyone, namaste, welcome to your practice. This is yet another yoga flow. So let's start a, with stretching the legs out to the front. Separate the feet and just draw circles with the ankles. Relax the arms to the back. And four or five times in one direction. And about four to five times in the other direction. Just a few simple ankle rotations here. Now begin to bend the left knee, bring the sole of the foot to touch the thigh. Take a breath in, exhale, twist to the left side. Untwist and swap sides, twist to the right. Untwist, place the left hand on the mat behind, sweep the right arm, lift the hips, open the chest to the side. Release back down, twist to right. We'll do this a few more times. Twist to the left. Twist to the right side. Maintaining the back straight. Sweep the left hand to the back. Reach the right arm up and over into this baby wild thing. Bring it back to center. Twist to the right. Twist to the left and come back to center, twist to the right. Back to center, sweep the right arm up and over, wild things, soft back bend, lower the hips and let's switch legs. Bend your right knee, sole of the foot touches the left inner thigh, long spine, twist to the right. Mobilizing the spine, twist to the left. Come to center, right hand behind, sweep the left arm up, lift the hips, lift the chest. Lower the hips, twist to the left. Twist to right. Revolve to left. Twist to the right side, lift the hips, reach the left arm up and over. Lower it and twist to the left. Twist, revolve to the right. Twist to the left. Sweep the left arm up and over. Lift the hips. Lower down. And release all fours position, hands and knees. Hands directly underneath the shoulders, knees hip width. Stretch the right leg up. Lift the foot hip height. And tap the floor and lift up. Let's do this about 10 times. Just lift, raise and lower. Maintain the pelvis neutral. And no need to lift too high. We're just lifting the leg about hip height. And let's switch sides. Left leg out behind you. Kick the heel. Spread the toes. Tap the toes on the mat and lift up. And continue. About eight to ten times on the left side. And release the knee to the floor. Rest in child's pose. And come back into all fours and lift up into down dog. Separate your hands about shoulder width or slightly wider. Begin to bend the left knee and stretch the back of the right leg. And bend the right knee, stretch out the left leg. Switch, bend the left knee, straighten the right leg. Feel the stretch along that calf muscle. Switch, bend the right knee, straighten the left leg. Bend the left knee again, straighten the right leg. And now straighten both legs. Feel the stretch along the entire back of the legs, along the spine. Reach the right leg up to the sky. Have the toes facing down, tap the toes on the mat and lift up and do this about five times. 
simple leg raises in downward facing dog. And switch left leg raises up to the ceiling. Leg is straight, tap the toes on the mat or towards the mat and lift up as comfortably high as you can. And do this about three to five times. Lower the foot down. Walk the hands back towards the feet and stay here in a forward bend, softening the knees and the back of the neck. Now unroll up into stand. And as you straighten, sweep the arms out to the sides, up to the ceiling, breathe in. Exhale, hands to heart center, folds. Hinge at the hips, hands to the mat. Halfway lift, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hands to the floor, walk yourself forward into a plank position. And into downward facing dog. Shift forward plank. Hips are high, lower the knees, chest to the floor. Inhale, cobra pose, raise the chest. Exhale, reach back into downward facing dog. Feel the length in the spine in the back. Right leg up, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, knee to nose. One more, breathe in, kick back. Exhale, knee to nose, step the foot in between your hands. Lower the back knee to the floor and reach the heart, the chest forward. Lower through the pelvis. Now lift the back knee, flatten the back foot at an angle of 45 degrees or so. Draw the right hip back and sweep the arms up to the sky into warrior one position, Virabhadrasana one. The front knee aligns with the front ankle and the back leg is straight and strong. Straighten the legs, release the hands and the hips, shorten the stance a touch. Reach the left arm up, breathe in, fold forward. Exhale, twist to the right, hooking the hand on the outside of the shin or the foot of the floor. Stretch the right arm straight up to the ceiling. It's a strong pose, this one. It's a twist, it's a hamstring stretch, and it's a bit of a balance. So if you need to look down to maintain it, look down. Release the hands down, bend your right knee, shorten the stance, and lift the back leg. Tap the toes on the mat and lift up one. And continue three to five times here. All of this movement, the leg lifts, strengthens the hamstring of that lifted leg. Now maintain the leg lifted and hover the palms to touch at heart center. Nice straight line from the crown of the head through the spine, through the leg, through the heel or the toes. Land down, hands on the floor, lunge. Walk the right hand on the inside of the foot, Skandasana, side lunge. Bend your right knee, straighten the left leg. Switch sides, bend the left knee, straighten the right leg. Swivel to the back of the mat now, lunging with the left foot forward and reach back into downward facing dog. Plank position, shift forward, breathe in. Exhale, knees, chest, hips to the floor. Inhale, raise the chest, cobra pose. Exhale, reach back, downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here. And reach the left leg up, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. 
Step foot in between the hands. Lower your back knee to the floor and reach the center of the heart forward as you lower the pelvis. From here, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Flatten your back foot into warrior one position. Reach the arms up to the sky and bend deeply through the front knee. And straighten the legs, shorten the stance, release the hands onto the hips, reach the right arm up, inhale, exhale, fold forward, twist to the left side as you hook the hand on the outside of the foot, straighten the left arm up to the sky. Release the hand down, bend your front knee, walk the hands forward, lift the back leg. Lower the back leg to the floor, tap the mat and lift up about five times. Pause with the leg lifted and bring the hands to touch in front of the heart center as you balance in warrior three. Heart reaches forward, release the hands down, land back into a lunge. Side lunge, bend the left knee, face the side of the mat, straighten the right leg. And swap sides, bend the right knee, side lunge, straighten the left leg. Swivel towards the front of the mat now, lunging with the right foot forward. And down dog, step back. Wave the body forward into plank position, breathe in, exhale to the floor. Inhale, cobra pose, raise the chest. Exhale, reach back, downward facing dog. Reach the right leg up, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach and extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Step the foot in between the hands. Lower through the hips and reach forward with the chest. Flatten the back heel, ensure you've heel to heel alignment. Cycle the arms to come up into warrior two, bend in the front knee. The front knee is directly over the ankle and the shoulders are aligned with the hips. Inhale, sweep the arms up, straighten the legs, keep the legs straight, arms to the sides. Reach forward with the right hand, triangle pose, hand to the floor or a block, or the shin or the mat. Left arm reaches straight up to the sky. We move into extended side angle pose. Bend in the front knee. Cycle the left arm alongside your ear now. Right palm on the floor or the block. So you've got this straight line running through the entire left side of the body. From the wrist to the shoulder, to the hips, to the knee, to the ankle. Bring yourself back up into warrior two. Straighten the legs, shorten the stance, prepare for half moon. It's a balancing pose. Reach forward with the right hand, hand in the block or the floor, lift the back leg. Stretch the left arm straight up to the sky. This time the hips are facing towards the side of the room. The chest is facing towards that same side. Land back into lunge, side lunge on the left side of the mat. Swivel towards the back of the mat. 
down dog reach back Plank position, shift the weight forward, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga or to the floor. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, reach back into downward facing dog. Left leg raises up, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, knee to nose. One more, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. And step the foot in between your hands. Warrior two position. Flatten the back heel in line with the front heel. Windmill the arms to come up into warrior two. Virabhadrasana to bend through the front knee. Strong legs strong arms and straighten the leg reach the arms up keep the legs straight arms to the sides triangle inhale reach forward exhale hand to the shin foot floor right arm straight up to the ceiling so you feel the stretch along the right side waist and you feel the stretch along the back of the left leg. Spiral the right side of the ribs up to the sky. Now bend in the left knee. Extended side angle pose. As you bend through the front left knee, sweep the right arm alongside your ear. Furutita Parsva Konasana. Extended side angle pose. Come up into warrior two, straighten the legs, shorten the stance, prepare for half moon pose, a balance. Reach the arms to the side, reach forward with the left hand, place it on the block or the floor and lift the back leg. About hip height. As soon as you lift the back leg, kick through the heel so you have better balance. The final touch is to hover the left hand away from the floor. Try it. Challenge yourself. A good tip is to gaze down so you have better balance. And land back into a side lunge on the right side. Right knee bent, left leg straight. Swivel towards the front of the mat and reach back down dog. Plank position, shift forward, chaturanga or to the floor. Cobra or up dog, inhale. Exhale, reach back, downward facing dog. Lower the knees to the floor, rest in child's position. yourself up and out of the pose sweep the legs to the front we move into boat pose navasana bend your knees grab onto the back of the thighs walk the feet in lift both feet and stretch your arms out to the front lift through the heart center and draw the chest towards the thigh this is one of those poses that really needs um, it just needs practice the more we practice navasana the better it is Bend the knees, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, round the back, drop the head. Second round, come back to center. Lift the feet, this time straighten the legs if you can, stretch the arms. Chest to thigh, thigh to chest, balance. Breathe, you've got this. Round the 
Release, cross the feet, hug the knees. Inhale, lift chest. Exhale, drop head round the back. Come back to center. And we'll take a fun, basic arm balance. Come into a low squat, Malasana. And place your hands on the floor, just in front of the feet. Spread the fingers and plant the palms on the mat. And keep the connection of the inner knee with the outer arm. Keep that connection now. Look slightly forwards. Lift your hips, shift the weight forward. Try one foot at a time. Hover and lift one foot and lift your bottom up. Perhaps the other foot lifts. Try it. If you fall over, that's fine. Get back into it. Pause the video if you need to check my alignment and check your practice. Hold for as long as you can and lower the feet to the floor. Rotate in your wrists because it can be, especially if the core is not strong enough yet, it, and we are putting a lot of pressure on the wrists. So the wrist can take a bit of a beating. So just rotate your wrists in one direction and the other. And come to lie onto your backs. Prepare for bridge pose, bend your knees, feet on the mat, hands by the side of the hips. Inhale, lift the hips up to the sky as high as you can. Stretching the front of the body, stretch the hip flexors. Continue breathing and lower down to the floor. Two more. Elevate the hips high. Press the feet down. Ensure that the feet are not too wide. Have the feet about block width or hip width apart. So you can really press the feet down to lift the hips up and lower down. Last one here. Lift the hips up to the ceiling. Breathe and lower down to the mat. Bring the knees to the chest. Massage the back right to left, left to right. And roll to one side as you come up into a seated position with both legs stretched out to the front. Bend your left knee, sole of the foot touches the right inner thigh. Right hand on the shin. From the side, sweep the left arm up and over as you take a side stretch through the left side of the body. Shine the left side of the rib cage up to the sky the left arm alongside the air. The breath is natural and free. Come back to center. Now square your torso over the extended leg and fold towards the right knee. Reach as close towards the thigh or the shin as you can, releasing the back of the neck and breathing with grace. Bring yourself out of the pose and switch sides. Bend the right knee. We'll take the side stretch first. Reach the right arm through the side and stretch the right side of the body. Left hand could either reach the foot or is resting on the shin or the thigh.
and square yourself towards the left leg now and fold just towards the thigh. Let the exhalations be deep, long and slow. Let them be a touch deeper than the in-breath. Allow each exhalation to offer a flavor of surrender. And bring yourself out of the pose as you come to lie onto your backs. With the legs outstretched and together Reach the arms to the sides, bend the right knee, place the left palm over it, inhale, exhale, twist as you send the knee to the left side. Bring the knee to center, release the leg, and switch, bend the left knee, inhale, exhale, twist, knee to the side. Bring the knee to the center, release the leg and rest in Shavasana, legs relaxed, arms relaxed, midsection of the body relaxed, shoulders heavy on your mat, face and forehead entirely relaxed.
now begin to bring awareness back. Move the fingers and the toes. Stretch the arms, give yourself a nice good stretch. Bend the knees, release the hands, roll fully to the right side. And manage your way to come up into a comfortable seated position. Bring your palms to touch in front of your heart. And gently open your eyes. Thank you everybody. Have a lovely day ahead. I'll see you on the next one.